In this example, we want to find the least common denominator. We have 4 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 3, and 4x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 10x plus 21. In this case, we don't care about the numerators at all. Don't even look at them. Uh, they don't matter. We're just looking at the denominators. You always factor first to find the, the LCD. So factor first. Okay, otherwise um, it's really hard to see how these things fit together. So let's do, let's factor this first one here. We'll use this diamond method for the first one and trial and error for the second one. So remember C goes up here, B goes here. So we have three and four and we need factors of uh, three that add to four. Well, it's three and one. So that one is not too bad really. So we have X plus three x plus 1. Okay, over here, let's just go straight to the trial and error. x and x, we need factors of 21 that add to 10. Well, 7 and 3 do that. Okay, now to find our LCD. LCD goes as follows. You write the first denominator as it is, x plus 3, x plus 1. And then you go to the second one and say, what do I have to add to our LCD to make sure I include everything in the second denominator? Well, we already have x plus 3. That's right there. But we don't have x plus 7 yet. So I'm going to add that in, x plus 7. And now we've included everything. Right? The whole, every single term that shows up in any denominator is included in our LCD. So that's our answer. Let's try another one of these. In this example, we have 9x squared divided by 7x minus 14 and 6x divided by x minus 2 squared. Our goal is to find the least common denominator. All right, well, we can do that. The first step in this process is always to factor the denominators. So let's see, we can get a GCF out of this first one here. We factor a 7 out, we get 7 times x minus 2. Okay, so here are the two denominators that we're looking at. All right, we don't even care about the numerators at all. That's a comma <laughs> between them. Okay, so the way you do this, here's our LCD. You start with the first one. Okay, so we have a 7 and an x minus 2. Then we go to our second denominator and we ask, what else do we need to include to make sure the second denominator is included in this? Well, we have an x minus 2, but we need an x minus 2 squared. So let's just go ahead and square that. And now note that we include everything up here in this circle. The 7, the x minus 2, and the x minus 2 squared. That is our least common denominator right there.